हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू प्रोग्रामिंग इन सी फॉर बिगिनर्स दिस इज द सेकेंड सेक्शन इंट्रोडक्शन टू सी लैंग्वेज एंड इन दिस सेक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू डील फॉलोइंग टूटोरियल्स टूटोरियल फाइव हिस्ट्री ऑफ सी टूटोरियल सिक्स फीचर्स ऑफ सी टूटोरियल सेवन मिंगी डब्ल्यू एंड विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड टूटोरियल एट सेटिंग अप इन्वायरमेंट एंड टूटोरियल नाइन कंपाइलिंग एंड रनिंग so definitely in this section we are going to start with our programming so let's start tutorial 5 which is history of c now c programming language was developed in 1972 by dennis ritchy at atnt bell labs california definitely it was not famous at that very moment of time but it is a very strong language and it has been proved at that time only how it was developed on unix system itself so it was basically developed on unix operating system but later on it modified the unix kernel itself that means it modified the operating system on which it has been developed so this phenomena itself is capable to prove the strength of c language so let's see the evolution of c language how it has been evolved till now as we know the traditional c language version was made by dennis ritchie in 1972 but it was not famous among the developers that time till brian cunningham and dennis ritchie have written their documentation about c language which was actually in form of a book known as knrc and it was written in 1978 then after it became a famous language worldwide it became so famous that american national standard institute itself wanted to standardize c language and in 1989 ansi have standardized c language so that it can be used in the same manner worldwide later down the line in 1990 International Standard Organization also standardized C and named it as ISO C. In 1999, C99 standard have been invented. Later on, in 2011 and 2017, C11 and C17 have been launched respectively. The C2x version has not been declared yet. It has to be declared. and i think in 2021 itself they are going to launch c2x standard now these are the various standards that have been evolved throughout the years and there is a myth related to c language that there is very less job opportunities or job scopes related to the language so let me tell you some types of jobs which are available nowadays for c language developers so there is a job opportunity for junior senior programmer for software developer for quality analyst for game programmer for software engineer for c c++ analyst programming architect embedded engineer database developer bioinformaticians computational biologists and many more and you know what all these fields are very famous and very nicely paid so that's it in this tutorial hope to meet you in the next video tutorial till then thank you and happy programming